An animated film makes Oscar history. Hey everyone, this is Kevin Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net, and oh, the Oscar season is upon us, and as usual, there's a lot to unpack, but I'm not doing the typical Oscar reactions like most people are doing. I'm actually going to be taking a more nuanced and multi-video approach to this and talking about certain nominations or lack of nominations that really stood out. So, in the coming weeks, we will be talking about the, oh my gosh, I'm happy that got nominated, the, oh my gosh, I can't believe that got snub the oh my gosh what does it take for an anime film to get nominated for best anime feature even when it is clearly better than all the movies you have nominated officially we're going to talk about all of that but we're first going to talk about a movie named flea that made oscar history however before we do if you have not yet please consider subscribing to this channel uh we want to reach 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year and i think we can do that and also, while you're at it, check out our Hypothetical Voice Acting Oscar Awards video that went up today. It's not exactly binding, it's just something fun we do most years, uh, but I enjoy putting it together. So, Flea. Let's talk about Flea. So, me and my wife saw this a couple weeks ago, and I loved this movie. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I almost made a video review of it, but now we get to talk about it, and the Academy has more or less affirmed how great it is. Now, Flea is a Danish film. And it's an animated documentary, which means basically it's made documentary style, they recorded interviews, it's real, but to protect identities and maybe to show things that you could not show because events have passed or they don't have any stock footage of it, they made it animated. Uh, that process is kind of uh, controversial, but you know, it is very effective on what animation can do. And it is about a man named Amin Nawabi who basically fled his country and lived a pretty miserable life and how things that happened in his childhood still affect him to this day. It is extremely moving, it is very powerful, and it is now an Oscar history-making film because it got three Oscar nominations. Here's Cartoon Brew, and they're not just any three Oscar nominations. It got nominated for Animated Feature, documentary and international feature the award formerly known as foreign language film now let's take a look at what cartoon brew had to say about this and then i will share my thoughts so animation was nominated in seven different categories the standard three animated feature animated short visual effects as well as documentary feature flea international feature flea representing denmark original score Encanto, and original song dos Oroguitas from Encanto. Flea is easily the most remarkable story this morning. In addition to its other categories, it earned a third nomination in the animated feature category. No animated film has ever come close to pulling off this hat trick of key film category nominations. It's a powerful statement about animation's power as a storytelling medium and its ability to transcend even the Academy's self-ghettoization of the art form. Their words, not mine, although I definitely know where he's coming from. So stay tuned to Cartoon Brew all morning for further in-depth. So here's the animated features, and you know, you have Encanto, Flea, Luca, Mitchells vs. the Machines, Ryan the Last Dragon. Um, my opinion, Ryan the Last Dragon could easily be taken off this list, and that could have been given to Bell. That could have easily been given to Bell. But the Academy decided not to do it. I was hoping that Bell would have hit at the right time, but this category that is very Disney and Pixar biased, so there you go. But you go down to, uh, well, they don't have it listed, but yeah, this movie right here, Flea, um, right, right here, as Wikipedia says, this movie right here did get nominations for documentary and international feature film. And that is absolutely amazing. Now, it's amazing because it shows how good the movie is, that three different ban branches basically decided that we're going to nominate for what is our best picture of the year. That is an amazing feat in and of itself. What's more impressive is that it's an animated film, which typically does not get a lot of love from the Academy. 
I mean, here's the thing. Yes, the Academy did nominate Beauty and the Beast for Best Picture in 1991, I believe. And no offense to Silence of the Lambs, but if, but the Academy couldn't even give Beauty and the Beast Best Picture. I mean, granted, both those movies are classics, I understand, but Beauty and the Beast is definitely... Like, if that wasn't going to win Best Picture for an animated film, like, what, what really will at that point? So, the fact that Flea was able to crack that many categories, and who knows, maybe it could have even gotten, like, a score nomination if Don't Look Up for some reason didn't get nominated in that category. I don't know. But that's impressive. Now, let's kind of, you know, look at this objectively. What are Flea's chances of actually winning any of these? Well, let's start with animated feature. I don't think it's going to win here. I think Encanto has too much of a lead. I think this category is very heavily dominated and biased towards Disney films. And even if Disney does split the vote amongst themselves, one of their movies will get it. I, I don't think it will be Ryan the Last Dragon, but if Encanto doesn't win, it'll be Luca. I think the Academy just, you know, and it's on record. Academy voters admit that when it comes to the animated feature category, most of them don't even vote because they don't watch those movies. They don't care. They turn to their kid and they ask their kid, what did you like the most? And the kid tells them what to vote for. That's how movies like Big Hero 6 beat movies like How to Train Your Dragon 2 and The Tale of Princess Kaguya and um, My Life is Zucchini. So, you know, the unfortunately of animated feature category is mostly voted on by toddlers. Not officially, but the voters turn to their kids or their grandkids, what do you want? And sure enough, whatever the big Disney or Pixar film that year is, that's what gets nominated. So I don't think Flea will get um, an animated feature Oscar. International feature, by the way, is also a wash. It's also a wash. Why? Because Drive My Car is nominated here. And Drive My Car surprised the heck out of a lot of people this morning by getting Oscar nominations for screenplay, director and most importantly best picture and if you have an international film that is nominated for best picture then that makes it de facto the winner for that category because you can't nominate an international film for best picture and international film but not give it best international film when none of the other movies in that category are nominated for best picture so i think international feature is also off the table where it might have a little bit of a chance is documentary. Now, I have not seen too many of the documentaries that have been released in all fairness, um, but I do believe that if any, it's gonna be given any award, this is where it would be. It is a very powerful movie. It's about grave injustice. It's about racism. You know, it, it tells stories from people that we normally don't get to hear from. And the documentary category or the branch might, you know, resonate with it. And, you know, they might give it to it there. On the other hand, it's also the one cartoon in the category. And there is a bias at the Academy. Do they want the documentary award to go to a cartoon? I mean, I know it's not a cartoon. You know it's not a cartoon. But will the Academy see it that way? The Academy, it's probably a cartoon. And would they want to quote-unquote sully the good name of the best documentary award for a cartoon i don't know so i'm gonna like try to like stay in the now and focus on the fact that flea pulled off this very historic feat this very historic feat this is impressive no matter whether it wins or not this is very impressive but it would be kind of a dubious honor for this film for To Break History as being the first film to be nominated basically for three different forms of Best Picture at the Academy Awards and then ultimately walk away with nothing. It's kind of like how I think um, The Color Purple has the most nominations of any movie without winning a single Academy Award or They Shoot Horses Don't They which had nine or ten nominations. Um, has the most Oscar nominations without being nominated for Best Picture. Or you could be Cabaret or Gravity. You could tie for the um, list for being the films with the most Oscar wins. Seven. Or, or is it eight? It was seven or eight. While not winning Best Picture. 
You know, these are the strange stats that Oscar lives with sometimes. But for the time being, good on Flea for actually having a very strong presence. I'm hoping that that strong presence gives the Academy pause and realize that they need to award it someplace. I think international feature is off the table. There is a possibility it might win animated film because, you know, if they don't want to sully the name of documentary, maybe giving it the animated feature Oscar, that's a good enough reward for that movie. And they could make the animation category look a little bit more serious and grown up as a result. But I'm thinking if it has a chance at winning, it's going to be documentary and we'll see if it wins at all. Anyway, that's where we are going to leave this story. I would like to know what you think. Have you seen Flea? What are your thoughts on Flea? I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, play responsibly. Have a good one.